Hello, everyone, and welcome to your partner in education, Agile Rank Mate. Today, in yet another episode of Kitty Toolkit, we'll be looking at some previous year questions of the Kitty examination related to the subject biology. So we'll be looking at some biology questions and how to solve them effectively. Let's start off with our first question of the day. By which of the following means does acquired immunodeficiency syndrome does not spread? Is it A, blood transfusion, B, sexual contact, C, using the same needle for injection, or D, handshake? So acquired immunodeficiency syndrome, which is also known as by its acronym AIDS, is what we call a sexually transmitted disease which means option B, sexual contact, is a way by which AIDS can spread. So that means, according to our question, the option is incorrect. Now, another notable method by which AIDS can be transferred is when a person transfers fluids from himself to another or gets fluid from another person. So transfer of fluids, um, especially blood, can uh, result in um, someone contracting AIDS. So therefore option A and option C are also uh, ways by which AIDS can spread, which means both options are incorrect. The right answer is option D, handshake. It does, AIDS does not travel uh, via the, um, via air or via droplets, so that means Having a handshake with someone who is supposedly having AIDS does not mean that you get to have it. So option D, handshake, is the right answer. Next question. Glycolysis operates in which part of the cell? Mitochondria, chloroplast, ribosome, cytosol. So what is glycolysis? Glycolysis is the first step in generation of energy in the cell. So... What happens in glycolysis is that the glucose molecule that's present in the cell, which is a six carbon molecule, is converted to pyruvate. Two molecules of pyruvate, which are three carbon molecules. Now, this is the uh, conversion which happens in glycolysis. Which of these parts of the cell plays host to glycolysis? Mitochondria might sound like a tempting option. After all, it's considered the powerhouse of the cell. However, mitochondria is where the next step in energy production takes place, where pyruvate is further broken down, and then at the end you get ATP, the energy currency of the cell. So option A is incorrect. Chloroplast is the site for photosynthesis in um, plant cells, so therefore option B is incorrect. Option C, ribosome, is where you have production of proteins, which means that ribosomes are also incorrect. The right answer is cytosol. Cytosol is another name for cytoplasm, and um, it basically um, contains the, uh, the liquid element of the cytoplasm. So cytosol is the place where glucose is converted to pyruvate which means that glycolysis operates in the cytosol of the cell. So option D turns out to be the right option. Now let's look at the next question. Ribosomes of prokaryotes are 80S type, 70S type, 60S type, 50S type. Now remember we're talking about prokaryotes here. Prokaryotes are the primitive organisms such as monera such as monera like bacteria and archaea etc so um so those are prokaryotes so what type of ribosomes do they have well ribosomes are consisting of two types so in common parlance you have two types of ribosomes 70s and 80s 70S consists of a 50S subpart and a 30S subpart. A 80S ribosome consists of a 60S subpart and a 40S subpart. 
So um, this is how um, ribosomes are made of. And the difference between the two ribosomes is that 70S is usually found in primitive organisms and ATS is found in advanced organisms. And since prokaryotes are the primitive organisms, this means that they would have 70S. So option B turns out to be the right option. A is incorrect because it is found in advanced organisms. Options C and D are incorrect because they are both subtypes. They don't exist as their own. Now let's look at the next question. The Five Kingdom classification was proposed by R.H. Whittaker, Strasberger, Klug and Cummings, Carolus Linnaeus. So which of these is the right option? Carolus Linnaeus, um, who was originally born Carl von Linn, um, is actually the brainchild behind binomial nomenclature, where you name any species in the world with a binomial, preferably Greek or Latin, because they're dead languages, and that name stays throughout the scientific world. So therefore, option D turns out to be incorrect because he was concerned with nomenclature, not classification. What about option C, Klug and Cummings? Well, both of these scientists were known for observing eugenesis in Drosophila, also known as the fruit fly. So option C is incorrect. Next, we have Strasburger. Strasburger uh, was renowned for the observation of double fertilization in angiosperms. So he was a botanist. Option B is also incorrect. The right answer is option A, R. H. Whittaker. He proposed the five kingdom classification consisting of monera, protista, fungi, plantae, and animalia. Now, the final question for today. Survival of the fittest theory of evolution was proposed by Darwin, Lamarck, Hugo de Varese, none of the above. So, um, let's look at the options we have to see if either of them are correct. Any of them is correct. So, if one of them is correct, then option D turns out to be incorrect. Lamarck. Lamarck is mostly known for his own theory of evolution, which proposed the inheritance of acquired characteristics. So basically what this means is that, uh, for example, a giraffe would have had short necks in the, a short neck in the past, and then due to its uh, willingness to eat um, leaves higher up, so it would start stretching out its neck, and then that resulted in the long necks of giraffes. That was Lamarck's theory. Turns out that wasn't the case, so option B um, would be the incorrect option when it comes to survival of the fittest theory, so option B is incorrect. What about Hugo de Varese? Hugo de Varese um, talks about another theory known as the theory of mutation. So here he says that evolution occurs due to sudden and rapid changes um, across large parts of the genetic makeup of organisms and that results in you know the variety of organisms that we have so therefore um, that means option C is also incorrect option A is Charles Darwin and yes Darwin was um, the original proponent of the theory of evolution he never coined the term survival of the fittest However, the theory uh, that describes the survival of the fittest um, motion was in the, indeed brought out by Charles Darwin. So option A, Charles Darwin, is the right answer. Now that means option D is incorrect. The right answer is option A, Charles Darwin. Now that concludes this episode of Kitty Toolkit. We hope you found this episode interesting. For more of our useful and interesting content, don't forget to subscribe to Agile Rank Mate, your partner in education. If you want to get the latest updates from our channel, then please don't forget to hit the bell icon present below the video. So until the next episode, take care, stay alert, bye-bye for now.